Hi everyone, just thought I'd do a follow-up video on the uh, Coro presents. They worked out really well for um, my 2020 Christmas, our last minute edition. And um, this is the largest one. This is about uh, 500 mil cubed, I think, something like that, five or 600 mil cubed, quite large. The other two are smaller ones. So this one's currently sitting on its side because I'm gonna show you inside it. So I thought that might be interesting. So there's the base. So it's got a bunch of nodes, 20 something nodes, I think, uh, on the bottom there. So and it's got that T piece, which sort of lets the uh, overall prop sit on the ground. Um, I'm not sure, I've got to doubly check about how these bits are supposed to go in. That bit there comes through from the other side. So maybe I've not assembled these correctly, who knows? But they seem to um, sit there okay. Um, so I've got the pixel tester running. I've just got it coming into a 343 T piece. So it's three pin there, four pin there. So that's just a single cable that goes data in, data out, and the positive and negative. So that um, data in is going, and the power is going to that pixel there. And then that loops around and round and round, comes back out to there. And I've got another cable going inside. So it's just going around corner of the box it's got these little scallops in each corner I guess for that reason um, and you can also see there there's the tabs little cutouts there and there's tabs there that the base clicks into so there's a whole bunch of not a lot inside so now you can see that cable that came in so it goes around to these bottom nodes first that's the way it's modeled um, so the X-Lite's model is uh, already set up that way so that tells you the different um, ones if you go into the you put the uh, model on your layout tab and then go and um, click on the right click it and then go wiring view you can see how it's supposed to be wired uh, make sure you maximize the wiring view because otherwise it's every all the numbers are way too close together and you can't really see where it's supposed to go i think i've got this right and it works for now but i haven't done any particularly uh, complex sequencing on it yet so anyway so it goes through the bottom ones first then it goes to one of the sides and it's it's the side that ends up having the middle pixel connected to it there. So the wiring goes from the bottom to there, down the other side. And then I've got a little jumper there, which is just extending the positive, negative and data. And that goes to this other side. Now, I didn't take a good look. Maybe I've got that flipped. It should be actually be coming up to the top one. I don't know. I don't think it really matters that much. Um... I can always fix that later by re-pushing them, but eh, that'll do for now. Um, and then that goes up, goes in the middle there. Now, in the middle there, you will need to join the uh, a piece of wire in there because the um, gap between that node uh, there and that one up there is longer than the pixel spacing. So you'll need to join that as well. So just keep that in mind. If you start just pushing nodes in, you get to that bit you'll suddenly find you haven't got enough to reach across. So pre-do all that first, count out your nodes, work it out, do your cut and join at that piece there, and continue on. Uh, these ones, I think I did them with the boxes turned upside down. I did these afterwards, did that link there. So, um, so yeah, the flow comes back out of this one's the last one here, the bottom of that side. And then I've just got that linking across with a bit of wire. And that's coming back into this four core cable that was coming up from the base and on the outside that's joining ultimately in and coming back out to the T piece there and then that'll go off to the next prop. So I had uh, a few T pieces just set up and that worked out quite well. So uh, there was enough length on that cable tail, that's a 500 millimeter cable tail. Between that and the T pieces there was enough to arrange the presents all fairly close to each other in a sort of nice looking way. So. And the, uh, like I said before, the uh, wire sort of just gets captured down there in that little scallop in the corner when you put the it on. I'll see if I can do this while still holding the camera. So that clicks in there. Now oh, it's a bit hard to do with the camera um, as well, but basically it just goes in there. Just all those little uh, tongues and uh, slots there line up. So, and that's how. It looks on the top there. Again, I think I've assembled this correctly. It fits, it works. So, you know, that's all that really matters. Um, now, you can't use square nodes with these. 
there wouldn't be anywhere near enough body length to go through all the layers. You might just get it through the double layers there, but you'd have no chance when you come up to around the centre area for those ones that are in there in the bow. So now something else to notice, I'll see if I can just put this up. When you assemble these, see how the flutes, the coro, the side pieces are actually, let's see if I can get that to focus. The side pieces there are at the side of the top piece. So the top bit is sort of inset, if you like to think of it that way, because that's the only way that those will line up correctly and all those holes there will line up correctly if you assemble it with this top piece being on the top and the sides effectively being underneath because you can assemble it both ways trust me um, it doesn't work you get to this step and then suddenly nothing lines up on these um, ribbon pieces there so anyway for those that asked to see inside it there it is um, overall it's uh, quite a nice little prop um, got quite a lot of positive feedback on this one uh, at Christmas time. So uh, with some fancier sequencing instead of just a pixel tester, it can uh, look quite good. So because you can change the uh, the sub there's sub models in the um, uh, in the model I believe. So you can change the color of the ribbons and the uh, base, which is effectively the inside glow, and you can change them independently. So anyway, thought I'd give you a look. Thanks for watching.